You are now listening to Nailed It, the orthopedic surgery podcast. Looking at an inlet, because you can also, if you have a 3D reconstruction, you can you can turn it so it's an inlet. But what but what are some of the things that you pay attention to on an inlet uh, on an inlet image? Yeah. So once again, look at the the joints and the disruptions, and if there's any fracture lines that you can follow, then of course look at those. The other thing that the inlet will show you in particular is this will actually show you quite a bit of the rotational moment. So if you look at the iliac spines and their profiles and you compare them, if they're asymmetric, then there's generally a rotational moment involved with the displacement. Um, the other thing this can show you, although the inlet in particular is the image that lies the most. Mm. And it's because the inlet view that you need to look at certain sacral segments is different because everyone's sacrum is shaped differently. Each level has its own amount of kyphosis or lordosis. And so also the SI joints themselves are undulating in nature. And so looking, you never get a perfectly clear look down a SI joint that's through and through. But you can look at some level of also the anterior and posterior translation of an injured hemi pelvis. But once again, this becomes difficult because of the things I just mentioned. 